In this video clip I'm going to talk about building our first robot that we have since named BatBot. So first of all the ideas for building a robot. Um, we have two very capable students in our school and we were looking for a project that would really interest and excite them. So ro robot building seemed to be the logical choice. We had to rein in our expectations a little. We weren't going to be building a C3PO or R2D2 in our first attempt. Um, a little browsing, um, a little bit of research um, highlighted there's actually a huge range of, of robotics kits available. Um, so the one that we went for to begin with was called CamJam EduKit 3. The EduKit 3 seemed to be well supported with resources, um, very reasonably priced, under £20 and containing everything that we thought would be quite exciting, such as wheels, motors, um, sensors, and the kit also needed a Raspberry Pi, which we had in school, and a 3D printer, which we again were lucky enough to have in school. And whilst the box that the Edu kit comes in can be used um, for the chassis, we thought we'd like to use our 3D printer. And this is where we met our first hurdle, really, we have a MakerBot Mini 3D printer, which we like very much. However, it's not that big. And the actual chassis of the EduKit 3 robot, BatBot, was an awful lot bigger. So when we first tried to print it out on the 3D printer, we tried it in a, in a small format, but it wouldn't actually house the motors. So what we ended up having to do is to cut the uh, 3D model into three different sections, print each 3D section, and then glue it together. With the 3D chassis printed and glue gun together, our next step was to get the Raspberry Pi up and running and hopefully connected to the components. With the issue that we had here is our Raspberry Pi, um, we didn't know how old it was, but it hadn't been used before and it was actually quite out of date. So we had to get a new memory card and put the latest version of Raspbian onto the Raspberry Pi and finally, after lots of weeks of trying different things, the boys cracked how to get Python up and installing on the Raspberry Pi and the uh, robot working. So here we go, first down's first robot. We've got a Raspberry Pi. Currently it's kind of hooked up with an Ethernet cable, but we're hopefully going to get Wi-Fi up and running soon for it. Um, we've got one of our students has programmed it to move around. Wow. So this is all programmed via the Raspberry Pi. You can see it's got a battery pack on there for the power. Um, and we're actually, for the access, we're actually remote screening in from a Chromebook. So we can control it from there. The next step for us is to get the sensors working for the sound. So for collision detection, it uses ultrasonic sensors, so it's kind of like a bat. Um, in fact, we could even call it the bat bot. Um, and also, to see if we can get the line following tool up and running. And the final little challenge I've got is there's a device, there's an application called Mycroft, which is kind of like Siri, but we can build it into a Raspberry Pi. So imagine if we could have a little chat with the robot. Good morning, Mycroft. And it says back, good morning, sir, how are you? And you say, not too bad, perhaps not as good as last week, weather's a bit awful. 